So here we go. The Flipper Zero and its accessories has finally arrived. So let's have a look what's inside the box and how to get started using the Flipper Zero device. So uh, as a first, let's have a look into the Flipper Zero box itself and what's inside. So first of all, you are going to have a very cool Flipper Zero sticker. You will find the Quick Start Guide. USB-C to USB-A cable through which you can charge the device and also perform the firmware update and you will have also the Flipper Zero the device itself so look look how stunning this actually looks isn't it beautiful so yeah so for those that don't know, the Flipper Zero is actually a multi-tool that is used by all geeks, nerds, and anybody interested into the, for example, pen testing and cybersecurity. It's actually a fun device with a lot of building capabilities. So let's have a look what did I purchase the next. So I have here developer board for Flipper Zero Wi-Fi module. So this is actually the Wi-Fi module. You see that I have it already protected with 3D printed case that I downloaded from official Prusa website on the community and 3D, 3D printed over there by Prusa printer. Uh, so this should actually protect the Wi-Fi module itself. It, this device actually has uh, ESP32S2 module, uh, module, which allows us to perform uh, Wi-Fi penetration uh, uh, activities such as like, the authentication and other techniques. And we're going to look into the uh, another video, how to perform, perform Wi-Fi hacking using this module with Flipper Zero. You can actually put it all together, you know, just like this. Now just be careful with the pins. This is how it looks like. And but I have also replaced the silicone case. So because I will be traveling and taking this device with me and I will be putting this box or device actually to the backpack so I want to make sure that it's protected from the scratches and it looks really, really nice so let's have a look how it looks like all together look at this beauty all right so now since we are ready uh, you can press the return button for a while it will start up the box and you can get into menu through the middle button by pressing the button if you want to see what is your current firmware, just navigate within the menu to the settings, about, and just be, try to find out your firmware version. Uh, just not make a note of it uh, because we are going to upgrade. But prior to starting the upgrades, I will encourage you to uh, charge the device. So in order to start with the upgrade process itself or uh, through the Windows uh, PC based uh, computer, we need to download the official QFlipper app. Just download it from the official repository, not from anywhere else in the internet. So the official website is Flipper01. And the software is actually available uh, on multiple operating system, Windows, Linux, Mac OS. So download it for your operating system to the PC, uh, run it with the uh, administrator privileges and continue with the installation just confirm the location just uh, let the installer know if you wish to install also the desktop shortcut and so on and so forth the installation will take you know uh, very short time and you upon uh, the installation finishes let's uh, open the application QFlipper and if you didn't plug your Flipper Zero into the PC, just do this now and the application should recognize the device automatically. On the main page of the QFlipper uh, software, you will find in information down the current software version of your firmware. 
and you have here the button to hop back from the other upgrade. You see like the update process of the favor is pretty simple. But I forgot to mention that you want also the micro SD card. I'm using the 32 gig uh, Sony uh, micro SD card. It needs to be formatted with FAT32 or XFAT format. And you place it into the device with pins uh, facing upwards. And just place it there. Simple as that. And it can be like the size of the SD card can be anywhere from 4 gig up to the 256 gigabytes. And uh, yeah, it should be ideally something uh, reliable because you will install later uh, as you start playing with the to uh, also the custom firmware and a lot of applications. So it, it needs uh, memory to store the, the database is keys, uh, I don't know, uh, cards, uh, uh, remotes, uh, and it places it on this SD card itself. Yeah, and basically uh, just by pressing the update button, you can finalize your firmware update into the latest greatest release. This will take it some time. The device will uh, inform you about the process. It will restart, so don't unplug it throughout this process. And then you can just verify that the software version is up to date and you can start using it. For example, you can play the Snake uh, Retro uh, game. So you can stop actually over there. If you want actually even the most latest functionalities that are currently being developed and committed, but not yet fully, let's say, tested, what you can do, you can navigate to the advanced settings and uh, change the firmware update channel. You have three options. Release is actually the default option. This is the, the most stable firmware version uh, that is generally uh, available and most recommended for general use. And uh, then we have release candidate. So this is the software that uh, has multiple like bug fixes, but like so performance issues, new uh, capabilities, and it, the development team actually submitted this for QA testing. And uh, basically, uh, if nothing outstanding, you know, is found uh, through the release candidate, it will be pushed to the main uh, public uh, release. And uh, you can think of the release candidate actually as a kind of beta release before you know the true launch into the main RC uh, release. But if you want to get really hands on into any of the currently latest developed functionalities, choose the development release. Uh, you might find like some issues with it, like the, the software can freeze and so on, but I haven't found like any problem so far yet. But uh, whatever your choice, choice would be, choose the right update channel and install or, you know, keep using the main release uh, that is the reflecting the stable version of the firmware that was the most extensively tested. And, you know, after you upgrade, just have a fun with the device. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to showcase you how to start with the Wi-Fi hacking itself. So this is gonna gonna be fun. Bye.